Hi guys, you are on the RAM24.com YouTube channel and today we will disassemble the smartphone ASUS Zenfone 5 Lite or ASUS Zenfone 5Q. 5Q is the name for the United States market. This assembly is medium difficulty or two gears in our difficulty scale. It means we have to detach the glued back cover. For this assembly we will use Philips hash 3 o screwdriver, tweezers, plastic tools, plastic film to work with the back cover. We use protective film from new displays. We have quite a lot of this film in stock. In the process we will remove the battery, but we won't remove the display. And this phone came to us after repairs, I guess and the back cover has been disassembled before us. I will show you the process of how to unstick the back cover, but you will definitely have a harder time doing that. We use a heating mat, set the temperature about 70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit and put the device on the mat for 5 or 7 minutes. When disassembling, we have to keep in mind that the fingerprint sensor is on the back, which means that the fingerprint sensor cable is under the back cover. So, we don't need 5 minutes of heating because the cover has been removed in the past. The adhesive barely holds the cover, but in your case it will be definitely 5 or 7 minutes. Turn it off, remove the mat, tactilely I feel that the cover has warmed it up, I take a plastic film, choose the place from the corner, try to pick it up, which corner doesn't really matter. We pass the film along the edge. I can feel that the glue in some places, but for the most part the cover comes off easily. Unfortunately or fortunately, most of the time we get devices after another, often poor quality repair. People or workshop do repairs and we have to deal with the old and new malfunction already. So we remove the back cover, under the cover we have the fingerprint sensor and its cable. Carefully turn the back cover over and now we need to disconnect the battery connector and the fingerprint sensor connector. We take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the screws. The screws are not screwed down tightly for some reason and yes, the screws are different and they are different size and color. I don't know whether the manufacturer intend this or not, or the screws were changed after another repair. Detach the brake. It only has a gasket on it. Disconnect the battery connector gently and with non-metallic tool. Disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and we can remove the back cover. On the cover we have the flashlight, the fingerprint sensor 
and probably the NFC tag. So the battery connector is off and we move on to unscrewing the screws. We have an odd situation, the screws are different colors and it's best to lay out the screws in the order they are unscrewed. The screws also can have different size. We have disconnected the battery connector, so we can use tweezers to open the cover. This is the assembly with the loudspeaker and the contact pads to the subboard. We disconnect the interboard cable connector. You can see that we don't have the board fixed. It should be probably glued in some places. Disconnect the coaxial cable connector. Pry the subboard over the edge and pull it out. We have a microphone on the subboard. We can identify the microphone by the hole on the back side. The charging port. and the contacts for the speaker, the vibration motor and the antennas. By the way, here is the vibration motor. Moving on to the top, unscrew the screws the same screwdriver, Phillips 1.5 mm. It is best to put the screws in the right order, but it seems to me that these screws are the same. Prepare a free place where to place the screws, for example, part of the table, and you can even sign them not to mix up when reassembling.
What a cover we have. It goes on the edge and feels quite fragile. The cover has a gasket and context for the antennas. Let's remove the camera gasket so it doesn't get in the way. We disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable and remove the cable. And now we disconnect the display model connector. We also have the side buttons. The cable is thin and you have to be careful not to damage it. Let's run our eyes over and make sure we didn't miss anything. And yes, we have one screw that holds the motherboard. The screwdriver is the same, but the screw is different, it's silver and small. We still need to take out the card tray, we forgot to do that first. The SIM and memory card tray. Pry over the edges and carefully remove the circuit board. Now we turn the motherboard over and detach the interboard cable. We detach the two rear cameras and one front camera. Oh, we forgot about the second front camera. We have to remember the location of the cameras, in case they are quite similar but we can basically see that the connectors are located differently, some on the inside and others on the outside. Now we can detach the battery. There is a tab here that is likely to come off. Well, it is. So, this is where the cable goes. Let's try to see how the battery is glued. Don't do it by the force. We just check it. Take a plastic tool and gently go around the edge. I can feel the glue holding the battery.
Now, let's try to leave the battery a little bit so we can continue to work with the film. And we can remove the tool. We don't need it anymore. Carefully remove the battery and look at the location of the cables. So, the battery has original glue that is damaged. We will need to clean it up and we will have to glue the battery again. In the display frame remains the earpiece speaker the vibration motor. Now we're done, don't forget that on our website is already a text version of this disassembly with the pictures and including circuit boards. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until the next video.